What's up Eurovision people? My name is Sean and on my channel I talk about all things Eurovision. Azerbaijan, the last country to reveal their song for Eurovision Song Contest 2022, has finally revealed their song. It is called Fade to Black and it will be performed by Nadir Rustamli, who is the most recent winner of The Voice Azerbaijan. And we have to talk about it because I'm slightly feeling nostalgic now because this is the last reaction video of the season and I want to do it well. So I want to find my AirPods and let's react to Fade to Black. However, before I do so, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you did like this video, subscribe to my channel and come and follow me on my Instagram for more Eurovision related material. Thank you so much. Pianos. Pianos are all the rage this year, aren't they? Oh, it's him. The story barely started, can't you stay? Very interesting outfit choice, bearing in mind this is Azerbaijan. Mm. I'm hearing that instrument. I like that instrument. I don't know what it is, but it's very typical Azerbaijani. His voice. The voice. I can understand why he won the voice. Oh my god. I think in preparation for this music video, Nadir has borrowed some outfits from the San Remo wardrobe. This is a very, very editorial outfit choice. The weather, the weather. It hurts. And I'm down, down. This song is great. This is a very dramatic ballad, and I like dramatic ballads. It's picking up. Wow, those the, the, the piano behind in the background is incredible. Wow, these vocals are insane. Okay, Azerbaijan, that was an incredible song. That's a really, really good song. It's so well produced, so well thought out, so well sung. Nadir Rostamli has got an incredible voice. An incredible voice. Those notes at the end, those very, very high notes, even though I'm not a massive fan of any high notes, they I can't deny, they are absolutely spectacular. The know-how behind singing like that is just so so commendable this is this caught me a little bit by surprise because i had no idea what to expect you know these these songs that come out in the end are usually ones that stay under the radar until like february and then you just you just hit with the name of the artist and the name of the song and as a eurovision fan we don't have enough time to expect anything but when we get the song boom that's where it happens i think this is a very very good product very for eurovision and I believe it's been composed by some Eurovision alumni songwriters. There's not much there's not much negative I can say here. It's it's just beautiful. It's a dramatic ballad that I like. I, I always tend to shift towards liking dramatic ballads, and this is certainly one I would not forget. The little problem that there is, and this comes more in terms of prediction than what I like, is there is another dramatic ballad in semi-final two competing with Azerbaijan. And it's competing in the same half, and it is Sheldon Riley's Not The Same, who will be representing Australia. Viewers might have to make a choice between which dramatic ballad they like the most. Me personally, I'm all for Azerbaijan. I'm not a big fan of Not The Same, but Fade to Black, I much prefer. This is much more immediate, much more well produced, much less emotionally manipulative. And if one of them has to be sacrificed, 
I think it should be Australia. Of that of that analysis, I think Azerbaijan should find their way into the final once again. The juries will like the song a lot, and I can't see the televote backing away from voting this. Yeah, Azerbaijan, you've done it again. Well done. Good job. Anyways, that's my two cents on Fade to Black by Nadir Rustamli, who will be representing Azerbaijan. What do you guys think? Is this a beautiful ballad or is it a bit too dramatic for your taste? Speak to me in the comments down below. And while you're at it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you did like this video. Subscribe to my channel and come and follow me on my Instagram for more Eurovision related material. This is the last reaction video for the season, but I will be coming back with some predictions and some live streams. So stay tuned to my channel. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.